Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video for you. I received my Vera Bradley retail side Spooky Cats haul. If you don't know the latest news on the Spooky Cats pattern, just this past Monday, Vera Bradley released what they call a limited edition capsule collection of Spooky Cats, which just included this small Vera tote and also included the standard size throw blanket. There was a lot of uh, talk going on in Insiders, in Buzz, on Instagram about what is happening with Spooky Cats because at first, very first top level, it was just a giveaway pattern. And then next level, just recently, just last month, Vera Bradley released Spooky Cats in the custom section, which in the custom section, you can only get, you know, a few select bags like the large Vera, the small Vera, we'll get to that, the on the go, the duffel bag, custom pillow covers, a small backpack and a large backpack, if I haven't said those already. And they took away the small Vera option for this and we were all like, what the heck happened? Some people were able to order customs in it. A couple people got their customs really quickly and the majority of us are still waiting for their customs. I do not have my custom totes yet. And then all of a sudden, this past Monday, Vera released the small Vera tote in recycled cotton and the, the regular throw blanket. So that is my brief history of what's going on with Spooky Cats. Um, so this is the retail side. This is not the custom version. This is the recycled cotton, whereas the custom is 100% cotton, and it's got a few features that this particular one doesn't have. Like this does not have the traditional piping. The brand label is down here instead of being right here on the front. It doesn't have the piping at the top. The straps look a little bit different. So there are several changes to the newly uh, recycled Cotton Vera Bradley, and this version is that. Just wanted to be clear before I start the video that these are not custom items. These are retail, Vera Bradley released it, and this is already sold out. This sold out on Monday. That's how fast. I actually bought it at Sunday night on Sunday night at midnight because I was stalking the website and I happened to see that they uh, uploaded these two items. So just wanted to give that brief synopsis because I did get like one or two questions on Instagram about what's going on, if I received my custom bags. I have not received my customs. I don't know the, even the status of those yet, but I'm very, very happy. Custom conversation aside, I know a lot of people are upset about that. I'm even, you know, at first I wasn't, but I am getting a little frustrated with just the, the communications and the process of that. But I'm gonna put that conversation aside for this video and I wanna keep this video positive, as positive as I can and talk about how much I love these two items, the Spooky Cats Small Vera and the Throw Blanket, which I haven't even unraveled yet. I've been so busy and honestly very stressed with work lately and these items brighten my week. So we're gonna explore the throw for the very first time together and also the Vera Tote, the Small Vera Tote. I moved right into this, as you can imagine. Ordered it Sunday night at midnight Received it yesterday. Fastest shipping that I've ever received from Vera. And I had to take a quick break from work just to unbox it because I was so excited. If you follow me on Instagram or if you are in the Vera Bradley Buzz group, you would have seen my cat naturally posed. I did not force him to pose, nor do I force my animals to pose. They just kind of do it. He posed with my spooky cat's uh, haul. So that was really cute. I am in love with this pattern. You all know I'm already in so in love with this pattern. I, I loved it before it was even in my hands. It was a giveaway item and it was so unattainable at the time I never even realized or knew if we'd ever be able to get something on the retail side for Spooky Cats. So the fact that I am holding this bag in my two hands right now feels so insane. It doesn't feel real. Still doesn't feel real after having this for a full day now. And I am so, I can't tell you how happy I am with this bag. I know it's not, you know, it's the, again, it's the recycled cotton, missing a few features. I don't care. 
at first, before I had this in my hands, I, I had ordered it and I was like, hey, Vera added Spooky Cats back to the custom section. So now you can get the small Vera in Spooky Cats in the custom section. I was like, maybe I'll just, you know, invest in that someday. So I have the piping and pick my own interior and my own trim and everything. I'm over it. I don't need the custom one. I'm so very happy with this. Um, so yeah, very, very, very happy. I, I can't explain. The first thing I wanted to talk about with this bag actually is the background color. I would say it's, I'd say it's probably like 85% accurate. The reason why I don't say 100% is because it is showing up a little bit lighter on camera, which was my fear. It is a, it's not like a super dark gray, but it's like a medium gray background. The reason why I wanted to bring that up is because in some of the marketing photos and even some of the photos that people have taken of their custom spooky cats, those who have gotten their spooky cats from the custom, the background to me looks lighter and it could just be the resolution, the photo, what, you know, what kind of phone or camera they used. But this is a nice gray color. It's not white. It, it it's kind of comes off a little bit like it's close to like a white color. It is not. It is a nice light to medium gray, I would say. And as for the cats, they are stunning. I wasn't sure if I would be able to pick a favorite cat, but I think I do have a favorite cat. Love every single one of them, but the one wrapped here in orange string with the red eyes is my favorite cat on this entire pattern. Probably close second, this one here with the orange scarf because that looks like my Poe, named after Edgar Allan Poe, the uh, black cat that I have. And I also have an orange cat, so I have two spooky kitties of my own. And I would say Kali, my orange cat, looks very similar to the one in the Vera Bradley duffel bag there. So very cute. But I just want to get you close so you can admire the details in this print. And if you're not familiar with Spooky Cats, this is the Halloween version of Cats Meow, which was a pattern that came out like fall of 2019, I believe. And it sold out so ridiculously fast that to this day, when Cats Meow items appear on third-party sites, the prices are still insane. They're untouchable unless you have several hundred dollars to drop on a bag and sometimes even accessories are that much or more so this is the halloween version i much prefer this i know that this is halloween and yes i'm gonna wear it all fall long but trust me you're gonna see me in march carrying this bag you're gonna see me in june carrying this bag i don't care that it is geared towards halloween i'm gonna wear this bag at any time and for you dog lovers out there, there is a dog pattern that's Halloween in the custom section and there is some buzz that Vera Bradley is going to release a capsule collection with the dog pattern with the, the small Vera and the throw. So stay tuned on that. But I would have to say I think I'm going to pass on that one because you know I love dogs but I and that one is really cute because all the dogs are wearing really cute and colorful and unique Halloween costumes. I prefer the, the simplicity of this pattern, I think. Again, I do love that other one, but also another reason why is because I need to not spend money on another bag. So I will probably pass on that one, but I just love the simplicity of the cats and how basically the only colors in this whole pattern are black, white, gray, orange and green. I like how it's so simple. You know, there's not a lot going on where with the dog pattern, as cute as it is, there is a lot of color, which is great, but I do prefer Spooky Cats. And Spooky Cats is the one that started it all too. So that's why I, I really love that one so much. So yeah, we've got you know, the cat peering into the fishbowl with the skeleton fish there. Got the yawning black and white tabby. We've got the pumpkin kitty. We've got this black cat staring at the crow in the cage. Skeleton kitty. Again, my favorite one wrapped in the orange string with the red eyes. 
this in the original cat's meow pattern i think this is a pickle or a cucumber because there's like this thing where it, like if a cat sees a cucumber you know they they jump and get scared whereas here it's a green mouse there is a witch kitty with a spider web and a spider it says boo there we'll see the ghost kitty on a, a, a better snapshot of the pattern We've got the orange, black, and gray calico. Again, I'm just gonna call this one Poe because it looks like my cat. We have this black cat rubbing up against the Vera Bradley duffel bag with the orange cat inside and the gravestone. Got a little bit of green grass there. So I think, oh yes, this cat right here is playing with the spider there. So that kind of ties that piece together. Oh, we've got Radioactive Cat, which I really, really like the Radioactive one. Let's see if there's a better um, a better view of that one. Oh, also, of course, we have the moon here. And there's a devil kitty. So there's a cat with devil horns. There's got to be a better snapshot of that one somewhere. Okay, let's see. This panel has some different cats. So we've got this one stretching. There's the ghost kitty. It says boo right there. And if we back the toad up, I have the ghost kitty lining up across the bag like a plus almost, which I really, that's the first thing I noticed when I pulled this out. There's Rocky. He's like, where's my Halloween stuff? <laughs> he wants the dog stuff, but he's, he's going to cuddle up to the blanket. So cute. So I, I, I really like that placement. I like how the the ghost kitties kind of line up both vertically and horizontally. There's the radioactive kitty. So there's a spider right there and it looks like this cat, you know, fell in a vat of radioactive waste and is now glowing green. And this one also has the red eyes. We can also see the devil kitty with the little uh, subtle devil horns curled up asleep. And there's a little bat next to that one. Again, there's the moon. So you'll see the moon. Oh. Another one is the cat with the witch's broom. And yeah, I think those are all the cats. I'm sure I've, I've probably missed one or two, but I think that's a pretty good, a pretty good look. Let's look at the back one more time because that's where, you know, there's less pockets interrupting the pattern. I just love this panel. And I, again, I love the cat with the red eyes just looking right through you. That's like the only cat that's kind of breaking the fourth wall, if you will. You know, all of the other ones are doing other things. You know, this one's this one's jumping, this one's walking. I guess this one could be looking at you if you wanted it to. <laughs> but I just like that this one is, you know, playing with the string, but it's also peering into your soul with those red daggers for eyes. Also the pumpkin kitty is very cute. I just love every element of this pattern. And of course, if we go back to talking about the background. We've got these eerie clouds back here. That is very fitting for, you know, creepy Halloween type vibes. I love this bag, everyone. I just, I just love it. I'm telling you, just holding this makes me so happy. I never thought we'd see this come to, to life, to retail. So I'm just ecstatic about this. So I do have lots of small Vera tote videos on my channel. I even have a recycled cotton small Vera and rainforest canopy where I talked about some of those changing features and I even compared it to a 100% cotton small Vera. I think whenever, if ever, I get my custom spooky cats tote in, it's the large Vera tote, I will come back on and do a comparison to see you know, if there's any differences in the way the fabric looks, you know, since this is recycled cotton, that one will be 100% cotton. Let's see if, you know, the pattern takes differently between the two. I'll also compare the features because, again, with the customs, now you get those nice premium, if you will, features that you no longer get on the retail, regular retail side of things. I will be back with the video whenever that comes in. But I'll go through a quick review of the features of this small Vera in front of me. We have a front zip pocket here and it is hooded so you can access the top. And in here I do have the tags to the bag and it's just your standard, you know, recycled cotton and then your, your price tag there. 
And these, I should say, also were an online exclusive, so you cannot pick these up in store. There's Rocky. I'm going to hate to take that blanket away from him, but I will replace it with the Midnight Blues one. Um, so yeah, these were online exclusives. Again, this is sold out, and I do not think they're restocking it, but you can get it on the custom side now. Yes, it does cost a little more, but if you really want to get that, you could, you know, use the custom side. You also have a slip pocket right there behind the zipper pocket. Again, two carrying handles that wrap all the way around the bag. There is the base. And the back has no pockets, but if we look at the top here, we have our sort of hidden cell phone pocket. And then the main interior zipper, which is a little bit of a recess. And yes, again, I am using this. So I do have it packed full. And the standard configuration of the small Vera are the six slip pockets on the inside. So real quickly, before I get to the blanket, I'll just show you real quick what I am carrying in my bag. I won't get to what's inside of the pockets. It's all, you know, generic, kind of boring stuff. So I do have my Cat's Meow pill case. I do not, well, I do have a bigger bag in Cat's Meow, actually. Shoot, it is the Glenna bag. So in a separate video, I can do a comparison uh, between the Glenna and, and Cat's Meow and my small Vera in Spooky Cats. So we could take a look at the changes that they made to the kitties. But I do have the pill case in front of me here. And you can already see that this white cat with the pink scarf and the orange one with or the black one with the orange scarf are the same exact illustrations. And then this one with the string is the same one as my favorite there with the red eyes. They're just kind of flipped around there. And then if we look up here, we'll see that those are the same. You got this calico brushing up against the Vera bag and the orange cat meowing. Basically the same illustrations. We go to the back, the pattern placement is actually very similar. So yeah, they did flip flop a couple of little things like they, there's that calico cat. So basically the same, but it's got some black in it and spooky cats. And then it's got the white in it here and cats meow. And then the jumping kitty right there. So I just love it. I, I, I gotta say, I just love the spooky cats. It's love cats meow too, but spooky cats is a hundred percent my preference. And again, I'm gonna wear it all year round. I'm obsessed with this Midtown Cosmetic. This is in the pattern Dandelion Wishes. I don't know the official style name of this cosmetic, but I am so obsessed with it. So you have this front pocket, perfect for my masks. And then, I love this. Okay, you get these double zippers, right? That go all the way down. Let me get some lighting's just gotta be weird every time I do these videos. Ah, uh, that's too dark. Okay, we're going back. We're going back the other direction. Just the sun's in a weird spot now. Uh, but anyway, zips down each side. And it's like the lay, I, it's probably called the lay flat cosmetic, midtown lay flat cosmetic, because there is a current cosmetic just like this on the retail side that is in cotton and performance twill. Midtown is a retired fabrication, but it is very similar, if not the same as performance twill. So you get these double zippers and this mesh pocket on each side that contains the items behind it. And I just I've had this for a little while but I didn't use it because I didn't think it would fit that much because it's so car compartmentalized but it really does and if you want to you can kind of throw some stuff in the middle there but I just I love this item and it's so plush the midtown is such a nice squishy material and I just like dandelion wishes so that's in there and then the other few things that I have in here are just a few notebooks this is a notebook that I got off of Etsy a really long time ago I have this little fruit notebook that I'm using to take notes. And then this one, I forgot I had. This is a cat notebook. It has, it says the word dreams and then it crossed out and it says schemes. Then it shows all of these little kitties on it. It's so cute. So when I was looking for a new notebook to replace one of my other ones that was filled, I saw that one and I was like, yeah, I have to put that in my bag. So that is the Spooky Cats. Small Vera.
Love this bag. And then next up, sorry baby, here's Midnight Blues for you baby boy. Okay, so we're going to be looking at this together. This is the regular sized throw blanket and Spooky Cats. So I've heard the cat motifs on this blanket are ginormous, which I'm totally fine with. I don't care what the sizes are. And someone in Buzz wanted me to like take my cat and put my cat on the blanket next to the cats. I would have loved to do that for the video, but my cat is nowhere around me. And so he's kind of hard to wrangle and especially keep in um, a spot when I'm trying to film. So maybe another time I can snap a picture of that. Okay, so you can see that the designs, the cat designs on this blanket go vertically. And oh my goodness, it is so, this blanket is so soft. Most of the blankets that I've gotten from Vera are very, very soft. Sometimes there's ones that are a little rougher than others, but this one is very soft. So I'm just going to give you this far back view and then I will come in closer and give you a closer view. I love this. Love this. Rocky's like, what are you doing? That. Oh my gosh, I love the radioactive kitty with the red eyes. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And I'll just try to get you in close so you can see the, the illustrations a little bit better. <sighs> I love this blanket. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I almost didn't get the blanket because I was like, ah, Kelly, you don't need another dang blanket. But it's it's spooky cats. Like, come on. Never know if it's going to come back again. So I just didn't want to mess around and take the risk and then regret it. So there's the crow with the red eyes also. Didn't notice that in the pattern. That's kind of neat. Skeleton kitty. There's the mouse and the jumping kitty. Witch Kitty with the broom. And then we've got this one with the pumpkin playing with the spider, also with the red eyes. Did I skip any? Oh, I did skip. Let's see, it's just the way they're kind of mixed in with each other. There's the pumpkin. There's the one with his back towards us, like, yeah, I don't care about you. <laughs> I'm doing my own thing. And then there's the stretching cat. And let's move our way up here, see the next layer. Okay, make sure I'm not forgetting anyone else this time. We've got the Boo Ghost Kitty, the Devil Kitty, the Bats. This kitty just chilling and walking. Oh yeah, we did see that one. Uh, Potions Kitty. Oh, he's kind of gearing and gazing into the fishbowl with the skeleton. He's got a really detailed eye there. It's kind of nice. And then we've got the spider web conjuring kitty with the witch hat. And am I missing anything else in that row? Well, we have the moon, crescent moon. And then we're at the top. Yawning kitty, that's me every day. The calico. Love this one too. And then my favorite, Red Eye Kitty. And let me just take one more quick look to make sure I didn't skip over any of them. Yeah. So that is the Spooky Cats throw. And the Spooky Cats small Vera. Again, I'm so, so very happy with this. I hope if you wanted these two items, you were able to snag them before they sold out. I don't know if the blanket is sold out yet, the small Vera is, but again, if you can swing it, it is available in the custom section as of right now. As for the dog pattern for the dog lovers, you can get Halloween in the custom section, but, and I'm not saying this for sure, I do not work for Vera, I do have some intuition that they are going to release Halloween in the throw in the small Vera, and the only reason why I say that is because I saw comments on their Vera Bradley's official Instagram post with this stuff that said 
they're basically answering someone's question and saying, keep an eye out because there's more spooky goodies coming. So that makes it sound like they're going to release more. So we'll, we will see. I recommend to you keep a close eye on Vera Bradley's website, especially if you're up Sunday night at midnight Eastern time. That's when I found these items this past Sunday or just Monday morning, whenever you can. Just check. Again, not saying it's going to happen, but just in case. Also, I think I talked about this, but the shipping was super fast. I got this under two days, so I was really very happy with that as well. So that is my Spooky Cats haul. It's been a very busy week for Vera fans. A, very, a brand new Harry Potter print just released. And in my opinion, it is the best Harry Potter print that I think I've ever seen across like every, any brand. Especially from Vera, because Vera does have a, a few of their own. And that one that released today, called Forbidden Forest, is my favorite. I live just far enough from my Vera store that I would not have been able to make it to make it there after work in time. So I am going to have to skip out on that maybe tomorrow. But if not tomorrow, I will try this weekend to get there and do a video. But if not, I'm sure one of the lovely Vera YouTubers on here will get a video up. And if I don't make it to the store, I will try to do a, either a phone or online order and have some kind of haul video for you in the future. So thank you all for sticking around. I know a lot of you who have been around for a while know I talk about spooky cats way too much. And I'm just so glad to see this come to fruition. And thank you for watching. And I will see you, <laughs> said and like eight times there. I will see you in my next video. Bye.